Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Jason, this is the Freebird Garage, and today we are going over how to install a Moon MC integrated LED tail light on the FXR, and that starts right now. my current one that's already installed so we can get into it. This is the old one here, which you should be looking at. So, difference is the size in here. So once you're undone with your old one, you'll just unplug the original light, which is like 1157 style light bulb that's in there. And then that'll give you opening area. So then you're ready to kind of hook up your, your Moon NC one. This is just the start of it. So you can just plug in the taillight bulb. That's just gonna give you your brake lights. So the whole part of this is to get taillights and brake lights integrated. So on the back side of this, which I'll probably zoom up so you guys can see, you have to drill, physically drill a hole on the back side of this plate and to go in. So you gotta do like an eighth of an inch or so, drill in there. Uh, once you've got everything clear, you're not gonna hit anything. It's open on the other side. So you're not gonna drill through the fender itself. Once you drill through the, the tailplate here, just be very careful, it's plastic. So if you do it too hard or too rough, you're gonna crack it. So just make sure you take it easy and you go and do it. And then once you've gone through there, then you're ready to fish the wires that come coiled up, which are gonna be for your left and your right turn signal when you go and do it. So there's that there. I can see the old one there, which would have been in place. And then you're gonna take apart your two taillights here. They're just uh, set screws, or I'm sorry, uh, back nuts that are on here. The only way to break them loose uh, when you get committed to it is you're going to have to cut the wire. These are my old ones here that sat currently, like that. And when you start to pull it, because there is no direct, unless you go into the pins, there is no direct way to just pull it apart. Uh, it's you gotta, I mean, I found it easier. You can leave yourself an extra length, I guess, if you wanna reuse these. I just cut them off because I knew I was gonna use them again, but there, right there, and remove them, and that should give you clearing. Once those are removed, it's time to do a little wiring on the side here, and we'll get to that part next. All right, we're gonna take off the side cover here. Expose all the wires. Trace back where your signals would be on here. cover off to your wiring you ran your wires through your your now new drilled hole on your tail light you've gone that through there you fish it through and you've taken apart your old under here you've removed your turn signals from here you've cut them and now you're trying to get them out so you can see them so you get those two out from your left and your right are usually tucked up there's a bunch of hooks underneath your fender that hold all the wiring so if you're trying to have a hard time trying to pull them, just be careful. You just gotta unhook them through there and now pull them through. So now that you have both together, now you can see them both. You wanna get them, get them ready to be spliced and cut so that you can solder them together. So when you go and solder them, you're gonna wanna make sure that one, you have a soldering kit. This is what I use. It's really basic, it's easy. I like to move around with it so I can get it to any area. And has solder inside as well. So you need that and you'll need as well, these here. Those are shrink wraps. They sell them the single size that are for this wire, for this wire. And I just did a multi pack because you're wrenching. It seems like there's always a time when you need to always do some kind of soldering. So it's the kit I picked up. Any supplier will pretty much have these online or retail 
outlets. So there's that. So when you solder it, make sure that when you're soldering it that you've already put the heat shrink on one side of the wire far enough away so that when you go and solder it, it doesn't melt. So once you solder it, then you roll the shrink back, back over where you soldered and you heat it back up, let it shrink over the wire, you're good to go. You want to make sure you're soldering because any other connection ways, butt connecting or crimp connecting on there is garbage. Do not do that. This is the correct way to do this. You want to make sure that nothing comes loose. You don't want water and moisture happening in those. You're going to have yourself a bad time in the future if you go ahead and try to get out with just crimping it or butt connecting it. These things you see a lot of, you know, road time and you're going to build up moisture over either through the road or you're going to have some kind of rainfall if you run through any type of water and you don't want that to get in there and then you have no turn signals at a certain point. You have to trace the wiring again. So that will pretty much get you tucked up. Now remember, like I said, if you're having a hard time trying to get the wires to come out, follow the other side of this plug. That is where your turn signal plug is connector for this. So main wire to power it on the other back side of this metal is where your turn signal wires are connecting to. So that will be able to get to. And if you have to remove this itself to get to everything, that's what you gotta do. So that will get you all set. This is what it should look like once you're done, soldered up, connected, you're good to roll. For your hardware, you're pretty much set as far as that part. Once you took up your wires on the back side, get it all cleaned up, get your tail lights connected. That's your hardware. And for those out there trying to figure out, well, I'm still getting a solid turn signal or hyper flashing, right? These are older, so they don't have the, e the load equalizers to handle LEDs. They just didn't have them, obviously, back then. So if you look on Moon's MC's website, they had these load, you can see them here. Right there. It's a nice quality. Problem is, he's trying to mount two of these with in conjunction of your one left side or right side it just, there's nowhere to put it i mean you can hide it i guess maybe somewhere but you're eventually you're, there's no room in the inside of your wiring harness here it's pretty packed so there's so much you can hide in this thing so there has to be another way well there is and that's how to get these to work so i tried one it still didn't work it wasn't until i tried two in line or side by side like this that I was able to get this one side to flash and I couldn't get the other side to flash but it's still solid so there has to be another way and there is all right so I'm going to remove the bracket that's back up so you can actually see it signal module that is by Badlands. It mounts to the back side. There is a screw. See it, there's two of them that will you'll have to mount into here. And once you have that, that will place it, you'll have to drill them in here. Drill them on the back side. Just be careful obviously because you have your starter relay. And one of the screws should give you just enough room put both in there. There's a third mounting. You don't have to worry about that one. It won't, it won't, once you get the two in the bottom, they'll hold it securely in place and give you just enough room to hide it on the back side. Once you do that, you're good to go. This will take care of your LED hyper flashing and solid signals once you have done all your correct wiring on the other side. So that's all together, you're soldering everything and you're still getting like the solid flashers or the hyper flashing, you come over here Go with the Badlands turn signal module, good to go. Okay, once you've swapped out your turn signal module to the new LED module and you have soldered, 
heat shrink and reconnected your old wiring to the new wiring for the turret signal, this should be your final product. Brakes, which flash repeatedly then stop. That's how they're programmed. Your turn signals, this will be the right. They will flash continuously for a little bit and then they actually stop. That's how they're programmed as well. Same thing for the left here. Also, to note, when you do the turn signal module, you switch to that. Your front turn signals will now be solid if you still have them connected. I have removed mine. I don't use my front turn signals. Uh, so you're going to have to you know, either deal with front solid turn signals or you can switch to now LEDs in the front. That's the whole process of switching this mostly to LED. So that's what you want to go with. Now you can do it out front. There's multiple options which I will be looking towards possibly into an integrated headlight with turn signals. So we'll see what happens. There you have it, final product. All right guys, that about wraps it up for the Moons MC integrated LED turn signal taillight for the FX stop. If this helped you out at all, if you could, hit like and subscribe. For those that have returned, thank you. And as always guys, stay free and I will catch you later.